Okay, I wanted to give you an overview of the components before I actually give a demonstration here. Um, this is the shaker setup itself. There's a base plate made out of three quarter inch plywood. On the bottom, there's four springs. Each spring is about 15 pounds of strength, okay? There's a central shaft mounted here at the bottom that goes up into an offset section of the motor, or an offset arm, okay? There's about 20 pounds of lead weight, courtesy of the F-15. Those were CG weights in the nose. You can even look up the part number if you want. Anyway, uh, the motor is a real standard 24 volt, 250 watt DC motor. It is in turn connected to a Polo Lou 36 V15 motor controller. And that in turn is connected to the Shaker 1 control board from built from for from built for fun. And this is a uh, FTDI serial cable from SparkFun. And then to complete it, I've got a 24 volt power supply that I picked up off eBay. It's about 20 amps. Now, let's get to the main demonstration. Okay. I've got Twite Simulator set up and uh, we're parked at Thun Field with the motor off and you can see kind of, uh, the, this is the shaker software and uh, let's go ahead and uh, start the engine. I have no sound on this thing so any noise you hear is going to be coming from the shaker system itself and with any luck it won't knock the camera over. So let's go ahead and power the system up or power the airplane up by starting it. And there we go, you can see that kind of shaking a little bit. Hold it a little bit for you. You can see that. It's just a standard idle. Okay. And you can really feel this through the table. So let me go ahead and put the camera back and I will taxi this around a little bit.
thing is so out of, out of trim. So. for watching this silly little demonstration and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll put details on where you can get the electronics in that uh, in the description of the video.